What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? Man, what's good? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. It's been a minute. Feels like. Yeah, it feels like. Um, By the way, I hope everyone in the Bay Area is safe. My car, I swam here. I canoed. (laughs) I guess it was a Category 5 storm that has hit the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And um, it freaked me out a little bit. But, Mm -hmm. like, kind of seeing where the storm is and the amount of, uh, you know, rainfall and stuff gives me a little bit of hope because California is very dry, but it also worries me because there's a lot of traffic issues. You know, people are getting accidents. So people are barefoot in the water. <laughs> We're just like, swimming and sledding. What are you doing? And it, leave it to Californians to like make a joke out of everything. Because if you go see like the videos and the news and I stuff in the it. comments, it's hilarious. But stay safe out there, everyone. Um, man, what's good? So we were recently talking about like I just saw Adis after like a few weeks and I was telling him about all these things. And I was like, bro, like naturally as humans, we're always judging people. We all do it. Let's be honest. Like even like a sense of like prejudging before you meet someone, but someone tells you something about them. And so you go into it with like, oh, I know this about about you. And so now this is my perspective on you, bro. But we do it. We do it all the time. I, I think that's like the number one thing in the past year that I've understood about myself where I've made so many bad judgment calls with people based on like what I've heard about them. Or like, for instance, there's a friend of a friend um, that I recently met about maybe a couple of months back. And I heard so many things about this person. I would see him in, in videos and pictures. Ow, I just put my tongue hella bad. Oh, someone's in talking shit stuff. about you. <laughs> really? That's what it means. Is that really? If you bite your tongue, someone's uh, talking shit about you. <laughs> so <laughs> Name drop. Yeah, for real. At this so, point. So basically... Like I, I just had these this predetermined judgment on this person based on what I've heard and what I've seen. And then I met the guy and I loved him. He seemed just like one of my homies, a person that I can like see myself kicking it with and hanging out with. And it made me feel bad and it made me realize like the other times that I've done that and I've never been that type of person. I always give people opportunities and chances until they give me a reason to like kind of fall back. But then like, I would not want to go certain places a certain person would be just because like I felt like this person didn't have good intentions for me, et cetera, et cetera. And then I realized like that's like the worst thing we could do because like I can't tell you how many times someone has told me information that I didn't even know about myself where I'm like, that is not even true, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I've never done that, said that. I've never talked to that person. I don't even know who that person is to be talking shit about me like that, you yeah. know? So it's happened to me where I like, I'll hear information that's so outside the ether of possibility of who I am and what I stand for, where I'm just like, dude, I can't believe someone would have like the willingness to say this about me if it's not true. So imagine bro, like when other people talk about other people, automatically you're going to take that information and apply it and be like, you know what? I should stay away from this person. Yeah. God knows if that information is even true. It's so important to have our own judgment on people, but it's, it's very hard to sometimes not be biased or even so like with social media, right? You see people's profiles or like their videos, pictures, and you just um, immediately have this assumption of what kind of person you think they are because of what they're posting, their likes and their interests, the way they photograph all these things. And so in your mind, like for example, you see a beautiful girl, all the designer has to tell like the filter the face app we all do it um but in general like you see all these things and you're like oh she's an it girl she likes nice things she's bougie all these things the girl's probably like the chillest like casual like you know like homie and like you're like oh she's stuck up she's all these things because you see that and you're already prejudging their character based off of what they're showing and same thing vice versa if so if i t- tell you something about someone you've never met and i'm like oh this is what this person does or like oh i i know this about this person you're gonna go into it meeting that person like oh i know you as this right and it's it's um, impossible as humans to not think of it within that nature but it's so important to determine our own judge our own judgment in a world of like our generation where society and social media contradicts everything and like establishes everything. It's our source of truth. It's so important to say, no, 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 let me see for myself what you're about and then make my own judgment when I actually have a real in-person conversation with you, not hear about what you've done or who you are, the type of person you are. And same thing like in the dating space too. Like you look into people and you look at their history or their roster and all these things and and or someone knows of them and you're like, oh, you don't want to date that guy, blah, blah, And I'm like, well, no, maybe I'll get a different version of them. Let me determine that for myself, you know? And people can have like hidden bias. Like yeah. there could be reasons why they want to turn you away from that person. Like say you're talking to a girl and she's like, yeah, stay away from him, bad news. 
that guy pro probably broke her heart or he talked to somebody like there could be so much information it's like the game of telephone have you ever played the mm -hmm. game of telephone where you have a long line and then someone will whisper something and then you have to figure out where it like went wrong or who's whatever so like i think because of that and understanding like the world of social media and stuff we have these predetermined um you know, we just make these predetermined judgments on people. And that's so bad because you can miss so much and you can miss out on a quality person just based on bullshit. This you has know? actually happened to me too. I was recently uh, very much judged on this perception of the character I perceive to be on social media, which aside from my business page and my makeup, I have like my personal like archive and um, what I post on there, it's like, oh, you would think all these things. And I'm like, bro, I'm far from that. Like, I just like a pretty aesthetic, you know, I like nice things. But like, if you knew me, you knew like, you know, I'm, I'm like the complete opposite of what someone may portray me to be. And I hate that. But it's like I also don't care enough to convince the world that, oh, no, I am this person because it just what matters to me at the end of the day is like what the people I love think about me versus let alone the world, especially you and I being in this field. They're going to think anything and everything. I mean, our comments alone today, it's so hilarious. But you have to kind of get comfortable with the fact that people will always have their own perception of you, um, despite whether or not they even know you um, based off of their own judge judgments and their own biases and things like that. You know, like it's really interesting. And so from like a perspective of how you take it, I think it's important to just be confident in who you are and like not let it get to you. I had to get to that place because I was so set on like what people thought about me. I was like so bothered by like at one point I growing still am up. Sometimes. I remember you like you you like I never wanted to be photographed remember like don't post me and like I like wouldn't post a picture until it was perfected to the T like you know like fixed up no imperfections all these things and now and actually so my sister and I were just on vacation and I would take a picture of her and be like can I post this like you're in it and she'd be like Mila I do not give a post whatever you want I don't care how I look like shout out to Mo I love that she's I like I don't that. care how I look I don't care how I come off like People who know you know you, and that's all that matters. And I was like, bro, that's the vibe I'm on, 2023. I do not care. Like, you're going to think what you think. I agree. And I feel like you have to lead in an optimistic way, too. You have to be an optimist at times, most of the time, you know, mm -hmm. and give people that benefit of the doubt. And, like, to most point, I think that's hella beautiful because it's like, the people that find me beautiful in so many different ways, that's who I want to see this anyway. I don't want my op seeing my shit regardless, but it's like, unfortunately, we have these like predetermined judgments based on like what we hear and shit, especially in a world that's so cruel sometimes. Like I know I'm an optimist and I love the world, and I, but I know there's so much darkness that's roaming around that makes me feel like, bro, I'd be doing myself a disservice by judging someone for something that I've heard or maybe I got kind of a little bit of the story or just in general, I feel like I don't vibe, but I never even had a conversation. You'd miss out on so many opportunities and like we live so much in our comfort zone for example, that person that I was talking about earlier where I had a predetermined judgment on him based on what I've heard and seen sort of, right? That person can open up a million doors for me in so many different ways that I never know imaginable had I not given him that chance to be like, yo, and I don't, like, I'm not saying like, I'm the person that should be giving the keys. Like, who gives a f about what I do? But like, for me, I have always lived in that comfort zone. I want to do things that are comfortable to me. I don't want to go places where I'm not comfortable. I want to be around people I feel comfortable with, but it's good to put yourself in uncomfortable situations sometimes and really grasp that and then grow from there. You know what I mean? Some of my closest relationships have stemmed from like my first initial judgment on this person being like, I would never hang out with this person. And it's insane because I, I opened up and allowed that space of like getting to know them. And they've literally became my best friends. Like Caroline, for example, in college, right? We got placed in dorms randomly together and she's a sorority girl, like all the complete opposite of me. And like coming in, I was like, oh, Persian, like all these things. And I was like, I'm not like, that. bro, she became the closest person to me. Like we came from different worlds and I immediately, I don't want to say I judged her, but I was just like, oh, like we're not going to be like aligned on anything. We don't have the same likes and interests. We ended up being like, you know, obviously she's my sister. Like it's insane. So like, and same thing with my other friends, like we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. And like, I'll look at them and their posts and their political views and all these things. And I'm like, oh, like I'm judging you because you're like a hardcore liberal. But no, I literally like, they're my best friends because I've like, 
looked past that, right? Like, it's so funny. And actually, I recently started a new job and going into the position, given that I have the experience in the space and I've worked with all types of people, I told myself to go in with an open mind and let everyone make like a relationship with me with like me just allowing them to get, allowing myself to get to know them versus, oh, this is their position. This is their role. I'm going to immediately assume they're superior or they think they know, you know, like having an open mind. And again, it's natural as humans to have those assumptions or judgments naturally if we see someone based off of how they look or what they're wearing or, you know, how they communicate their style, things like that. But it's like we need to look past that, especially in the adult space, like give people a chance. I agree. And I think that's hella important because I remember uh, back then when I was in middle school and stuff and I wanted to be a part of the cruel crew. And I talked about this in the, our podcast before. I would always want them to give me a chance. I'm like, bro, have a conversation with me. I guarantee you we're going to be homies. You feel me? And I never got that opportunity until I was in high school and where like I was doing my own thing. And then I attracted that type of energy and whatever. Right. But like for me, that was always like, give me a chance. And I've always given other people's chances, like not saying, you know, I'm so awesome for this, but I always wanted to hang out with the person that everybody felt was weird because I feel like they're human, bro. You know what I mean? And I bonded with them. I didn't become really close to them, but they're like, oh, this person's cool. You know what I mean? Like, Well, this... you're one of the least judgmental people I know. But it's like, unfortunately, we have to, like, we have to endure some of those judgments and I've been through it so much where, like, I've been judged you have, and it's yeah. been so far from the reality and I see other people, like you said, they might think this girl is prude because because she's dressing in all designer and she's lived this lifestyle and she has the newest bends every time and like her parents are showering with everything right but that person you no know, even if they're you know posting a million selfies and they have thousands of likes you know how sometimes they say the prettiest people are the most insecure mm -hmm. or right unhappy or unhappy mm -hmm. or the people that you think have it all are the most unhappy that's so that that's like the reality of the situation it feels like because like you might not know what someone's going through, but on the outside, it's all like sunshines and rainbows, but on the inside, they're internally struggling, you know? Because like for me, although I wear my heart on my sleeves, on my, on my sleeve, both sleeves, you feel me? <laughs> but like, I'm going through so much in my daily life, like right now, personal struggles, family struggles, job struggles, like so many things that sometimes it feels like the world's working against me that like, when I go to a room and I'm talking, I'm not going to project that on you, right? I'm not going to project my sadness on you. So I'm going to smile. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to show you love, compassion, all that. But I'm struggling, bro. That's you know what I mean? That's such a good quality to have. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to pull you into that darkness, but I'm going to give you all of my light, whatever is flickering and that's there. But like, Someone can go and like completely say something that would hurt me and they have no idea what I'm going through. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you see so many things in the news and the tabloids about people that, you know, hurt themselves or do something that's life altering because they're internally struggling and no one knows. So I feel like if I'm the type of person where I know I'm struggling and I'm hiding it as best as I could, as much as I wear my heart on my sleeve, I hide it. I don't want to bring people in that energy. I don't want, you have your own problems that you're going through, your own inner struggles, your own inner worry and stuff. Who am I to bring you into that? Right? So it's like, don't cast those pre pre judgment, you know, um, ideologies and how you think about someone before you really get into the nitty gritty and like you dive deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't that's know. actually, probably why we see so many like deaths and rates in the celebrity space because they may be going through so many of these things internally you know ch challenged by their own demons but the world sees them as these celebrities that have everything and anything and, yeah. and still like um like they they criticize them and scrutinize them and all these things and so deep down eventually it gets them there to that place because they're not expressing we're we're never expressing the downfalls we're always expressing and showing only the good so it's like you really honestly to your point never know and actually you're a big example of this now that I think about it like so many people who don't know you have this assumption of you because you're the single kid like the um, only child you get you know you've had mashallah great life all these things we've all been humbled and so and blessed in so many ways and like you've had everything you've ever wanted but in the most you're the humblest person. I know the down to earth like sweetest like uh giving soul that I oh, know yeah. and so like when people don't see that you know because they're already just judging you for like oh this kid 
It's so interesting because I've seen it firsthand. People who don't know you and what they think of you versus when they get to know you, they're like, bro, he's such a nice guy. Like, I love him. My own friends included, you know, like, bro, he's such a great soul. Like, he's nothing you would imagine. It happens. It's wild. It's crazy to me. I think, I mean, we're human. We're going to yeah. have, we're going to judge sometimes. We're going to have those. But it's good to switch off sometimes yeah. and, like, really assess the situation. Be like, yo, I'm in that moment. I'm judging for no reason. Let me not, you know, let me not. Let me give this job opportunity an opportunity, yeah. you know? I don't care for the name. I don't care for the credibility. We've all had jobs with big names. Yeah, big that's tech actually companies. a good point too. That's where I'm at in my life too. Like, especially given my current transition, like I'm at a place where I'm 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 more concerned about the impact versus the the title, the title, the title because I want to connect. I want to build. I want to build relationships with people, and I want to have. I want to bring something to the table again versus like, you know, a a big brand that speaks for itself. I want to be part of like the growth. So it's nice. It's nice because again, to your point, I'm looking past, oh, they're just a startup company. I'm looking at the fact that, oh, what can I bring to the table that'll help build the startup with them? And it's like, we talked about this with your previous job. Like you were like, and I was like, yeah, how are you going to walk away from remote? Yeah. Everybody's like, everybody, uh, it's a like, it better be remote or I'm not accepting the yeah, job. That's, you know? We're struggling like, with that right now. You look past it and you're like, look, how can I have an impact if I'm not in front of these people? Mm-hmm. Like, how can I like, yeah. You know what I mean? And we had that conversation. I'm like, you're right, bro. That your very your strength was with that. You know, that's how people like kind of confide in you. You can't sometimes that that emotion and stuff you can't do behind a screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good to like not have those predetermined judgment. And not just with people, with situations, situations too. You know exactly. What I mean? Like with uh, decision making. We decide based off of so many judgments. Impu- or our own impulse, judgments. emotion. Yeah, yeah. No, like just just look things through th- for what they are, I think. You know, think them through. Where can they find us, Niels? Wow, not judging <laughs> on youtube.com slash the Dima Podcast TDP. We out. We out.